There's a bit of controversy around today's story, and the drama is unfolding around the star K2-18, a red dwarf that is cooler and smaller than the sun, and located just 124 light years away from Earth. The planet at the center of the story is K2-18b, a type of planet known as a sub-Neptune. It's about 2.6 times the radius of Earth and almost 9 times as massive, and orbits its star in just 33 days. Previous observations of the planet have discovered water in the atmosphere, and then carbon dioxide and methane. There are a couple of interpretations of this data, and that's partially what some of the discussion is about. The planet could be a gas-rich mini-Neptune, or it could be a Hycium planet, that is, a planet with a liquid ocean and a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. The authors of the new paper claim that their data confirms a Hycium planet and that they have detected dimethyl sulfide and possibly dimethyl disulfide in the atmosphere of K2-18b. The paper claims that the only way for DMS and DDMS to be produced is through the presence of organic life, although experiments in labs on Earth have been able to produce DMS without life being involved. The detections are also statistically quite weak, and the scientists say they need an additional 24 hours or so of data to confirm their findings at the Five Sigma level, which is typically the level of statistical significance required for a result to be considered concrete in the scientific world. I'm sure there's lots more to come on this story, and if it does end up being confirmed, it would be quite strong evidence for the presence of biological life on the planet, although I'm sure the arguments will continue to rage. You can find the paper over at the Astrophysical Journal Letters, and I'll include a link in the description. That's today's short. I'll see you back here tomorrow.